All right, guys. So today's video is going to be quite interesting because we have a ton of stuff to unpack here. Now, we all know we're going to get the massive mid-November update this upcoming weekly reset for Dragon Ball Legends. And there's a lot of stuff we got to talk about because I don't think you guys realize how big this update is going to be. Now, we got further information and confirmation on a few things, which we'll go over that in just one bit as well. But comment down below uh, what you guys like the best as I go through the video and what you guys like the worst. I mean, honestly, I'm going to be kind of judgmental here, so bear with me, but all everything I'm going to judge in today's video is worth judging. I mean, that's that's the whole point of the video, right? So um, let's not waste any time, guys. And by the way, if you guys want to keep getting updated here 24-7, everything Dragon Ball Legends, just simply like and subscribe because why not? It is for free, but let's not waste any time, guys. I want to start off with this update first and foremost, which is going to be the Godly Ranked Guild. Now, look... <clears throat> Guilds, you guys already know how I feel about this. It's probably one of the worst things in the game by far, like by a mile. Um, now, I want to show you guys a video of what Toshi said of what guilds could be in a future update. So uh, I'm going to show you guys in just one bit. But you guys see this brand new logo right here, which I'm highlighting this kind of like Jade looking logo. It looks really cool. Possibly the coolest looking thing in the game, honestly. But it's at the same time, the most useless thing in the game. What's the point of guild what is the point of guild there is literally nothing good about guilds at all it feels like you have a bunch of robots on your team the only interaction you guys have on guilds is specifically just cheering a teammate on which before you didn't even know now you know right which gets you one energy a day guys and that's if somebody cheers you on right and you could cheer somebody on as well which gets you an energy so like not even like five energy a day for the whole guild system think about that Think about that, okay? Now, I said I'm going to be judgmental on today's video, and I wasn't lying about that. Now, I do want to show you guys this one video um, that was part, I think it was like, look at this, guys. I mean, Rhyme Style, Kagi was here on the reviews and stuff. Toshi looks completely different. I, I think it was like years ago, right? Check this out, what Toshi said about guilds, okay? Uh, like, pseudo PvP is one thing that we're trying to focus on. Another Check thing is like a mini dungeon of sorts. Mini dungeons. Where, like, uh, let's say you can set your characters in uh, dungeon-esque rooms and uh, like the <clears throat> other guild has to clear that dungeon yo that's really cool i like that i like, like that. uh with the android 21 quest you've seen how we can provide for like a uh, board game-esque style of mm -hmm. uh, setup so we were thinking we can do something similar of that sort where everybody cooperates and fights one at a time or maybe at the same time we're trying to figure out how to do it specifically but uh, and like clear the characters one by one, and maybe mm -hmm. even the opposing opposing guild can even like uh, use items and heal characters or. Yeah, we got lots of ideas yeah. flying around, but since it's going to be something really big, let me let me pause this really quick, okay? Um, and he was gonna say it's gonna be something really big. He he said I have we have tons of ideas for guilds. This was years ago. Nothing has been in, implemented for guilds at all. I mean, it's the worst mode. Comment down below a worst mode. I would say Terminal Power, but Terminal Power honestly gives us crystals. Guilds, we, we could get like those red medals, which we then could probably get a few 30 multi Z power for sparking characters. Boo hoo, right? I mean, honestly, like it gets me pissed off. Now, this video was years ago, guys, like three years ago, give or take, right? Um, when they had guests on the reviews and stuff such as Rhyme Style and Kagi, which I do miss, but let me just continue playing this. We're uh, trying to test it out internally and then uh, finally get it out, which might be a few months from now, a few okay. weeks, like minimum. So um, we want a few months and a few uh, weeks. Yeah, Toshi, it's been three to four years. Um, yeah, really crazy how he mentions on this video how he has tons of ideas. Now, of course, you have to test it out and everything, but just that itself, like you have to time when you bring out your guild member to go uh, compete against another guild member. Just that right there is I, what it, it doesn't matter even if it sucks. It's better than what we have right now because what we have right now is nothing, right? So look, we have a lot of stuff to talk about, so I'm going to drop it right there in terms of that. So let's move on to the next update, which is going to be Godly Equipment Rank. Now, um, let me clear this up really quick right at the start of this subject, okay? Godly Rank Equipments, which you guys see right here to the left-hand side, is just visual, okay? If you guys do have any kind of Godly uh, Ranked Equipments after the update, just simply filter out your Godly Ranked Equipments and you guys probably will have it. But you guys will probably need that first slot at red to qualify for a Godly Rank, which 
will be a nightmare to uh, to re-roll for Awakened Equipment, like an absolute nightmare. So these are going to come by pretty rare for Awakened Equipment at least. F for the rest, it might be a little bit easier. But um, honestly, I, I see some people mad about this and I get why they're mad because they like to farm visuals. But don't be mad saying that this is going to mess up your whole equipment. Like it's not going to affect your equipment whatsoever. Your equipment stats is not going to change. It's going to be the exact same thing except a little visual if it's you know, good enough to be ranked godly, ranked criminal. Let me get, uh, let me give you guys a quick little tip and I will be making a brand new video on how to get godly ranked equipments, the best way, the most efficient way. But if you guys go to DBZ space, you guys can see here, for example, I pulled up a random awakened equipment uh, for universe rep. And you guys can see here, um, these are all the stats right here that would qualify you to, you know, uh, get a certain rank. For example, if we just put the blast uh, attack all the way up you guys see it's ranked a right now if we put all the strike attack up it's going to be ranked s now if we play around with this a little bit you can see what would rank what right this is already z plus as you guys can see with base health base blast at a certain percentage you guys can see here 8.6 8.55 8.5 so if you guys go to dbz space and like i said i'll make a full video on this you guys can see what you need to require in terms of specific stats to rank a uh, specific rank on that equipment, right? For example, Z plus, and I'm sure this is going to get updated to godly. So um, that's my topic on these two things. Next up is going to be a huge topic, massive topic, which is going to be um, LF, Z, um, LF Z abilities. It's called uh, limited Z abilities. Okay. Now really quick, there isn't too much specifics about this just yet, but a few things that I saw from the video um, about this specific thing, and it's going to be absolutely massive. Number one, you have to go back to all your uh, Legend Limited characters to see what they're going to buff actually, right? So this only applies if your uh, LF character is at six stars and then it gets higher, the higher stars you get. So you only get that Legends Limited ability called Limited Z ability at six stars, okay? So that's kind of... Uh, you know, that's kind of non-free-to-play friendly already because, well, technically speaking, you only need to pull two copies of the character um, from its original battle, which is not that bad. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I just don't like that requirement. I, I wish it was like three stars for one copy, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, now, these characters are only going to be applicable or these Z abilities are, gonna, are only going to be applicable if you bring them in battle, okay, as a battle member, okay? So keep that into account as well from what I saw in the video. And another thing it's going to be buffs against specific tags. For example, um, LF Super Saiyan 2, uh, Father Son Kamehameha Gohan right here. Uh, perhaps he's going to do extra damage versus um, androids or region because he fought Cell, right? So, uh, or powerful opponent, whatever the case may be. It's going to be catered towards specific tags. So your build is going to be catered towards specific tags. For example, if, um, I don't know, God Key, this is just an example, is on top of the meta, Maybe a character like Zamasu will come out and an LF uh, Zamasu will come out, for example, right? And his limited Z ability will do extra damage towards God Key. That's just an example, okay? Now, I can't wait for the full details on this very soon. And I'll keep you guys updated with this um, as soon as we get more details. But yeah. Now, introduction of in-game backgrounds. Um, they mentioned this on a video. I could pull it up for you guys, to be honest. But... This is kind of like a cool little thing. I'm not sure what they mean by this. If it's an actual in-game, like while you're playing the background, or if it's like your character's arts or your screen, they weren't really specific on this. Um, it does say in-game as an in in-game, but they weren't really, they were very vague on this. So we're going to get more information very soon, possibly tonight, and I'll keep you guys updated with that. Um, so that's four things. The other two things I want to talk about is going to be sort titles by order received. Now, something I wish they did for this specifically is, um, is pretty much just add favorites onto this where you can select your favorites and there's a little favorite section. That way you don't have to keep scrolling all the way down, even to find your older titles, because this is only by order received. So yeah, I mean, or you're like, let's just say you from the newest to oldest, but then there's a title you're trying to look for in the middle. And you find it once, but you got to favor it. That's something they should have added instead of just this mumbo jumbo. Um, this is a step forward, but favorites would be the ideal thing, right? So you can go back and just make life way more simple for your favorite titles. Um, man, I'm going off on them because they could be doing so much better. I, this, these are good changes, but they could be doing better uh, is what I'm trying to say. The, the final thing here is going to be uh, guilds cheering you on. And you can see who cheered you from your guild. 
Now, I find this kind of funny because it might be a little bit hilarious to see um, you cheer somebody on, but they not, but them not cheering you back. Um, it could be toxic. I'm not going to lie. Um, if you're thin skinned, I'm pretty thick skinned, so I don't care. I could cheer you on. You can never cheer me on. I do not care. Honestly, I just could care less. Um, but yeah, I can see some people getting offended by this, but that's just my take on that. Uh, a few extra things here. This is, these are some bonus stuff. And by the way, they will be announcing more things, um, for the, uh, the reviews and stuff, right? Which I'll go live for. Uh, but there's a few more things like they're going to, uh, 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 I think it's uh, what uh, it says here. The number of Chrono Crystals required to recover 10 energy has been reduced from 10 to 2. Some very small stuff like that. And um, yeah, honestly, I don't want to make this video too long, but this this was a good rant. And hopefully Dragon Ball Legends does watch these videos um, to take a thing or two, right? Because I think all these things that I'm judging are legitimate stuff to judge on, right? And good feedback as well. So yeah, guys, if you want to keep getting updated here 24-7 FD and Dragon Ball Legends, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe, and I'd love to catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.